Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So now here I want to show you one scenario which we have left it on our previous video. So for example, let's say that here we are showing all the list of all the heroes details like Superman, Batman, we are showing all the heroes. And if I want to click on the particular superhero, if I click on this one, so we are able to move to the hero slash one. That means we are showing the particular hero name Superman. And now if I want to go to the Batman, that is nothing but hero slash two means so here I am not showing the Batman name, but the URL has been changed, but here the name has not been changed. So what is the reason for this one? So the reason for this one is, so here in our hero detail component, so this com this is loading the component hero detail and in this hero detail component, so we are injecting the hero service and we are trying to get a particular hero that is nothing but based on the parameter, whatever the URL has a param, we are capturing that param and we are, and we are trying to extract that particular hero using that param id but here in this situation what is happening is we are not able to get that particular hero why because so you when you are already existing on the same component and if you want to go to the and if you want to change the url means so here the ng on init will not be fired so why because in a component lifecycle loop when the component is mounted then only the first time the ng on init will be fired and afterwards the ng on init will not fire so what we need to do here so we need to have in such a way that this instead of using the snapshot, so we need to use an another scenario. So that means we need to observe the changes that has been happening into this params of ID. So what I can do it is the one, one scenario, what we can do it is so here, so we can get the route parameter. So that is nothing but instead of having this one, so we need to capture the, so we need to capture the this dot so here we need to do in a such a way that this dot route so i will try to show you the uh, instead of this one i will try to show you the uh, what i wanted is uh, console.log okay so this dot dollar route so this dot route so we will uh, see the console of this one so what are the methods that are existing in this activated route if you try to see here in our console so you will be able to see an activated route here we will be having a lot more things. So in this we are using only a snapshot only. So here we, if you try to observe carefully, so we are having an, <coughs> uh, so here we are having an params, okay, it's a behavior subject. So you'll be able to see a params, query params and all those things you will be able to see. So many things are there, params, subject, params, and these all things are having. So now that means you can, uh, you can have something like param map also so this one is an anonymous subject so which will return the same thing so params also you can do it so now what i can do it is so here this one returns a subject so what can you do here so i can subscribe to this uh, observable so here what i can do it is instead of the same thing this dot route dot params okay param map or params whichever you want you can use it params dot subscribe so you will be having a subscribe and we will be able to get the data so here i will try to do console.log data so what is the data we are able to get it now let's try to see the output so the first time we are able to get an id2 so okay fine so when i click on this one so we are able to get an id2 fine let's go to here slash hero so the first time we are trying to get it and when i click on the superman so we are able to get an id of one fine and when now i am existing on the same hero detail component now when i click on the go to uh, batman see now the param so that has been invoked so that means i am able to access the changes in this url param so id2 so that means in this subscribe we are able to get it so what can i do here so instead of capturing this hero so what can i do it is so this one we can capture it into this one and we can paste it here that's it directly now if you try to observe the same thing it's the same output okay so here you will be able to get the data data dot id that's it so if, if you are not able to get it so here you need to go do data of id okay that's it now if you try to see the output for this one let's go back to hero again so i am in the hero now if i click on the superman see here i'm able to get the superman if i go to give batman so now here i'm able to see the changes also so that means so here we have subscribing to the changes in the params of the url so we need to use the params here so now another thing what i want to do it is so if you want to refactor this code so how can i refactor this code is so we are able to get this one right 
so we are able to get this one so dot pipe of okay so we can go to the switch map okay switch map of so we are able to get the data and in this data so we can uh, this dot dollar hero is equal to so we are able to get it and here what I, what I will try to do it is so instead of I will, need, I will remove the subscription and here I will return this this one that's it so now if you try to see this this is a dollar of hero and this dot route parameters and here this one will return and what is happening does not exist in hero detail this dot dollar hero okay okay so it should not be hero it should be hero dollar that's it so now we can use it in this scenario also now if you try to see the same output we are able to achieve the same output but this time we are using a cleaner way so now i will click on the superman we are able to get the superman i will click on the batman now also i am able to get the batman also so that means we have used the switch map so that we can able to get it so this is how we will be implementing the uh, what i want to tell you is uh, the re responding to the changes what i want to tell you is so in order to respond to the changes and another one what i want to tell you is before closing of this one so now let's say that if you want to access the query parameters so if you are having a query parameters like question mark id is equal to one or something like that if you are having a question id parameters means how can we access this one or how can we send this one to the url so let's try to see this one and also we also have another type that is nothing but fragment so here you will be having a fragment so like this so now how can we access this query parameters and how can we access this params thing let's try to see it in the next video so hope you understood about this concept so what we have did is a simple thing so we have used the route so now we can also simplify this one also instead of using this uh, ng on it or something like that we can capture this entire thing and i can use it in in this one hero dollar is equal to and i can paste it here directly but the route should be added at the top why because it should be initialized before so now I can remove this entire thing and now this is a cleaner way. So this is lot more cleaner way. Now if you try to go to the hero like this, where is this one? Yeah, hero like this. So now if I click on the Superman, I'm able to see the Superman. And if I go here, Batman, so I'm able to see the Batman also. So now this is the cleaner way of using this one. And you can use a change detection strategy on push so that everything will be working finally. And here we have used the async. So there is no need uh, for us to unsubscribe and all those things. So the those all the things is not there so automatically the anger will uns unsubscribe so we are not manually subscribing to the observables so this is the cleaner way and also the recommended way to use the observables like this so this all already we have discussed in our previous videos also hope you understood about this zero detail component how to access the dynamic root params if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you